Well, 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 what have we here? A little Pokemon all by itself. Meow. Where are you going? You weird cat thing. Hmm. I guess. Uh, darn Zubats. Leave me. Get out of here. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm through. Okay. Alrighty, we got... What have we got here? Oh, a revive. Nice. Maybe these aren't as rare as I thought they were. That actually is quite comforting. It's not a Zubat. So there's that, at least. A Paras. What is what is that? Is that even a play on words of anything? A paras. I got nothing. Maybe I should use one of those repels we have. It's a geo dude. Uh, how about geo don't? He was about to punch me. That geo dude nearly punched me. <sighs> Darn Zubats. Now, I do wonder. Say you had a Geodude as a head of state of your country. Do you think he would rule with an iron fist? Eh? Eh? We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. How would you get lost? What do you have? A Rattata? Ha! Huh, don't make me laugh. You're challenged by Team Rocket Grunts. So sad. Like, the random people get names, but not the Team Rocket Grunts. What is this? It looks like... I, I don't even want to say what it looks like. I mean, like... A, a very weird elephant, we'll say. Drowsy. Psychic. Okay. What if we were to double kick the, dr the drowsy? Now psychic these kicks! Apparently it's not very effective. What's it? Hypnosis? What does that even do? Oh! Eevee is sleeping. I mean, I guess that doesn't make sense. Pokemon is called Drowsy. Alrighty, um... Okay, so Mew is poisoned. Alright, Mew. Uh, get out there. You've got work to do. Hey, Evie! I thought you said you were sleeping. It's faking. The drowsy used confusion. Don't confuse my Mew. Not very effective. Nor would one expect it to be. Ooh, that poison damage was serious. Okay, we might only be able to keep Mew out here for like one round, so let's make it count. With what does Swift do? Star-shaped rays are shot at the opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Yeah, might as well try it out, I guess. Oh, wow. That was good. Okay, Mew has been confused. It's not very effective. Probably because Mew is psychic type. Okay. And you know what? Might as well do the swift again. I, I like it. Good job, Mew. All right, 59 XP, Eevee got 59 XP. The Pokemon party got XP. So you are good. All righty. Hmm, oh, nice little Pokeball. Oh, Magikarp is staring at your face. Weird. You found a potion. Nice, I love potions. That is a massive Pokemon. Are those dark colored things fossils? All right, Meowth, go get those fossils. Meow. What are you guys looking at? Huh. 
Uh, I'll tell, maybe take a gander myself, if no one's got uh, any issue with it. I bet I could uh, uncover some sweet fossils. We all love fossils here, don't we? Ooh, what have we here? Another revive. Thank you, thank you very much. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. I mean, probably not. But then again, you guys seem my very incompetent, so I'll do what I want. You're challenged by a Team Rocket Grunts. But this time, a woman. A Zubat! Darn Zubats. Okay, alright, Eevee is no longer sleep. Nope, Eevee is sleeping. Okay, that's... Bad. Um... Mew is poisoned. Magikarp is worthless. Squirtle? Eevee, how is it you always happen to be awake when I am calling you back? Okay, she probably just makes Squirtle lead the team at this point. Because, honestly, Squirtle's the only one in, like, actual working condition. Uh, let's headbutt this guy. And it's a pretty under-leveled Zubat, so this shouldn't be difficult. Uh, bites? Ouch. Got bits. I had another headbutt should be fine, though. Very good, Squirtle. Very nice. Squirtle got some XP. Nice. Boy, that really makes me steam. As in, like, the like, game's distribution platform? Oh, tch. Ran right into a Geodude. It's a wild Geodude. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not catch a Geodude. I'm only interested in catching Geodudettes. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Oh, I forgot to make uh, Squirtle the head of the group. You are challenged by Super Nerd Miguel. Super Nerd Miguel set up a, a Voltor. Now, I'm not actually sure. In Pokemon, is water effective against electricity, or is electricity effective against water? No idea. I, I mean, I guess we'll see if uh, Eevee can, like, wake up. Eevee, wake up, please. Eevee's asleep. Well, that's less than ideal. Okay, you, how are you sleeping through this? Okay, um... Let us hope that in this game, it is water that is effective against electricity. Because <laughs> there's an argument e for either case. Okay, Thundershock, and it's super effective. Ouch. Okay, Squirtle. Mm, let's headbutt this guy. What the heck is that? A light screen made the opposing team... Squirtle used headbutts? Okay. Let us headbutt again. Thundershock. Squirtle, you're gonna be okay? Barely. Super effective, eh? Okay. And I think at this point, you're either going to switch Pokemon... ...or you're gonna heal. I think in this case, let's get a potion for... ...Squirtle. 
Oh, you can use items on people who are not current in battle. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Hopefully Squirtle will be fine. Thundershock has occurred again. I think we need to heal one more time. And then we'll finish this guy off with like... A, uh... Uh, probably a headbutt, I'd imagine. Okay. What? Paralyzed? May be unable to move. There's a May there. Oh my gosh. Yoikes. Squirtle? Okay, good job. Good job, Squirtle. Well done. But we definitely probably need to get Squirtle out of there. Uh... Oh, good job, Eevee. Eevee wants to learn the move Sand Attack. Huh. Let's uh, look into that. It's a ground-type move. Sand is hurled in the target's face, reducing the target's accuracy. And I'll be honest, like, I kind of feel like lowering their attack and their defense is probably a bit better than lowering their accuracy. Hmm. And we're definitely not getting rid of Tail Whip, that's like an essential part of our arsenal. Um, Growl? Could, maybe? Um... I know, accuracy just hasn't really factored in much to the gameplay thus far. Then again, we almost never use Growl anyways, so like, we could do a sand attack? I mean, it's... they fundamentally do mostly the same thing, right? You know, Growl, the idea is you take less damage because you make them do less damage. Whereas Sand Attack here would be you take less damage because they hit you less often. Uh, we'll switch it out. We'll try it. I'm, either one probably wasn't going to be our in our long-term plan anyway. Okay, so Eevee has learned the Sand Attack. Oh, the light screen wore off. A Magnemite. I, I'm not sure what type that is. Might be electric. We will switch Pokemon. And I think we gotta put Mew out there at this point. And hopefully we'll have time to heal Mew. And then possibly... Possibly also do a... Like, an antidote for Mew? Or we might just heal and then, like... Okay, cause, so we gotta start with... A potion. Okay. Great job. Looking good, Mew. Right, HP is restored. Okay. Well, good decision switching away from a water Pokemon. Okay. Let's, if Mew is the Pokemon we're going with, I, we don't know how much damage Mew is going to be able to do to this Magnemite, so this might last a while. If it lasts a while, we definitely want to use our antidotes to get this poison off. Okay, Mew is cured of the poison. Okay, I don't think, like thus far, it doesn't look like we have to do a thing. Um, so hold on, let's look at the typing of this Pokemon. Cause it could be like a steel. Yeah, electric steel. 
Of course, all of Mew's moves are normal type anyway. Uh, might as well do a payday. That sounds fun. Ooh, yeesh. That was not a lot of damage. Oh, is normal not effective against steel? That would make sense. Do we have a way to wake up Eevee? Probably an awakening would do it. Okay, yeah, because uh, this uh, Mew business is not going to cut it. Okay. Eevee, let's go. Please wake up. Alright, Eevee! Welcome back. Are you still sleeping? Man, how are you still sleeping through this? Okay, look. Eevee? Wake up. Used an awakening. Eevee has woken up. Wonderful. A hey, supersonic. You better not paralyze by Eevee or anything ridiculous. What's this? Eevee became confused? That doesn't seem great. Uh, let's get a nice little heal in on the Eevee. Okay. Eevee's HP is restored. Uh, do not paralyze my Eevee. Okay. Okay, so we know normal type is ineffective. Hopefully fighting is effective? Eevee is confused. Oh, baby, that's effective. I presume that's effective against the steel parts, not the electric parts. I don't think being good at fighting makes you good at fighting electricity, necessarily. Could be wrong, though. Who knows? You beat Super Nerd Miguel. Okay, I'll share. Nice. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's no good to be being greedy, right? Hmm, now, which one do I want? We've got the Helix fossil. Or the Dome fossil. Hmm. And helixes are just cool, aren't they? Domes? Then again, maybe I do want the dome. Or maybe I want the helix. Um. Oh, this is a tough choice. Hmm. What do you think? What, what, which one's better? Hmm. I don't really know what the ramifications of this decision is going to be, so we'll go with the Helix. Seems cooler. Got the Helix Fossil. Alright then, the other fossil's mine. Okay, moving on through the cavern. Stop right there! What? Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. No, I just fought someone for this? Okay, please. You, hands off. Urgh, how do you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Where'd that... Where'd you get the rose? You're challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Okay. Wait, I'm fighting two at once? That's not fair! Oh, I've got two at once. Okay, um... Okay, first thing is we need to make sure Mew is, like, alive. Um... So, Mew definitely needs a potion. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay, so first we program Eevee's move. Okay, so we've got an Ekans and a Coughing. Let's take a look at the typings there. 
So Ekans, or coughing is a poison, and Ekans is a poison. Okay. I don't think we have anything that's particularly effective against poison. Um... Hmm. I'd say maybe just quick attack. It would probably make the most sense to focus down one of them first. We'll make it the coughing. And uh, Mew is definitely going to have to take a potion. That, that is non-negotiable. Okay. HP is restored. Eevee used a quick attack. Okay, that's not bad. Acid. Ew, that's not fun. Oh, it hit both of them. Huh. Interesting. Alright, alright. I'm not afraid here. I'd say, still, we focus one down. We'll quick attack the... Coughing. And Mew. I'd say Swift against the coughing. Oh, it works on both. It's an AoE. Nice. Good job, Eevee. Very nice, Mew. Okay, so now we're in the situation where Eevee should definitely do the Ekans because Mew is going to... a oh, critical hit. Because eh. Mew's is an AoE, so it'll get both of them. Let's try double-kicking the Ekans. And Mew... will obviously do... a Swift. Now the one thing is, like, there is an argument that maybe you should have had Eevee quick attack the Coughing regardless. Because I'm not sure if Mew or the Coughing goes first. Okay, it's Mew. Good. Very nice, the Coughing has fainted. Alrighty. Very nice Mew. Level 12 Mew. Who would have thought? Okay. Oh, Squirtle's at level 15, despite being paralyzed. We've got some acid coming on out. And now here is the real big brain move. What you're going to do, so with Eevee, you're going to quick attack the Ekans, obviously. And then with Mew, you're actually going to switch out your Mew for a Magikarp, so it's like, technically is in the fight at some point, to maybe get just a tiny bit extra experience. Go Magikarp! Uh, you precious little thing. Very nice. The Ekans has fainted. Got some XP for Eevee. Magikarp got some XP. Mew got some XP. We're, we're all getting XP. XP for everyone! And you get a car! And you get a car! And you get a car! A twerp beat us? Yes. I love how you effectively just rob people in the Pokemon universe when you beat them in uh, Pokemon battles. <gasps> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off! What's going on, Eevee? Eevee looks completely exasperated. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Right? How are you liking that hat, by the way? I think it gives you some nice character. Oh, wow, you're even letting me pet your face today. That's a rarity. Alrighty. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is... Give your Pokemon a berry? Oh. Well, hello there. I'm not sure what that did, but... Okay. I'd hope we were almost out of this cave, because, like, yeah, we are kind of running on empty at this point. Like, I mean... Eevee is doing fine? And that's about it. Oh, we're back to Route 4. Sweet. I'm not sure if there's any Pokestop- Pokemon stops around here. One would hope. 
so because that cave was so such a grueling process to get through, but uh, you never know. You found five Pokeballs. Great. I always want to be careful about just jumping off of cliffs, because you, you never know. I mean, they're points of no return, right? Well, oh, Paralyzed Seal, that actually could be quite useful. I guess, theoretically, what I could do right now is, like... I think I could, like, go in and, like, apply some, like, healing and status effect removing items to the Pokemon. But... Like, if we're going to get to a Pokemon Center pretty soon, then I don't want to, like, have wasted them, right? Then again, on the flip side, if it's a situation where it's like, you know you're going to need them anyway, so you might as well just use them. Because if you use them in battle, that wastes a turn, which you could potentially get, like, damage during, which would actually waste more resources at the end of the day. These are the things that you must consider as you play the very deep, complex game that is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Okay, well, this is a point of no return, but hopefully, we'll be fine. Oh, is that an Ekans? It slithers weirdly. Eh, I don't want to go through the grass, if at all plausible. Oh, is this- Oh, we've made it to Cerulean City! Hallelujah! Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Like, metaphorically or literally? Yes, hello. There's a tree growing in front of the Pokemart. It's blocking the way to the roots to the south. I think there's a long way around, though. Wait. Eevee, 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 Eevee. I don't need a voice act for my Eevee. Oh, that's a nice little oddish you got there. Oh. What's the deal, uh, Magikarp? What do you see? The fountain is shooting out water. Do you want to throw money into the fountain? We'll throw 500. We'll see what happens. Splash, splash, splash. You threw 500 bucks into the fountain. Okay. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. Eevee looks happy. Now, Eevee. Eevee can't sit still and wants to move around. Now, Eevee, I'm glad that you're happy. But I will say, I am mildly upset that you just made me spend 500 bucks just for you to be slightly happier. Okay. Um, oh, there's a poke. What, what, what now? No, I, we're not playing in the fountain again. It's not happening, Magikarp. Yeah, you know what, Eevee? You want to, like, w run around and stuff? You got so much energy? In that case, then you... Yeah, it's your turn to, uh... Run around. Never mind, you can't run around. Oh, we've never had Squirtle outside. Well, hello there, Squirtle. Anyways, hello. Thank you. It has been quite the journey to get here. We are very grateful for the opportunity to have a nice little rest. Okay. All better Pokemon? Love to see it. Hope to see me again? Great. Okay, um... How is our Pokemon doing in terms of levels? We've got a 14, a 12, a 15, and a 7. Okay. Neat. Actually, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There were some weird characters in there. I kind of want to hear what they have to say. And we just arrived in a new city. Let's uh, get a feel for the... What's going on? Like, wh what the heck is your deal? Your Eevee looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that Eevee can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want me to teach you a marvelous move to... Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Eevee? What do you say? You can try. So, what... So, we got Bouncy Bubble. Hold on, I, I don't even know what a bouncy bubble is. Hold on. Oh, I see. If you change your mind, please come back. So 
So, what, what do we got? Sizzly Slide. Bubble is probably a water type move. We don't need that. Buzzy Buzz, that's gotta be a bug type move. Sizzly Slide, that's probably fire. We don't have any good fire. Let's try fire. Sizzly Slide. Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, it is fire type. Alright, so what is Sizzly Slide? The user cloaks itself in fire and charges at the target. This also leaves the target with a burn. 90 power, that's not bad. Okay. We can get rid of the sand attack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we even ever used it. One, two, and ta-da! Evie forgot sand attack. Yeah, to learn Sizzly Slide instead. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? Marvelous, truly. Why don't you trade Pokemon with your friends? You could get a lot more variety by trading. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly, too. Oh, is that why you've leveled up so quickly? Huh. Anyways. Come on, I can squeeze through. I am a slim child. I guess not slim enough. Gotta have to lay off on the Oreos. There are two types of attacking moves. Physical moves and special moves. If your Pokemon's attack stat is high, teach it physical moves. Huh. We got the map here, of course. We're in Cerulean City. Very cool. Why, hello there. Ooh, that bill. I heard that he'll do anything to get his hands on rare Pokemon. Anything at all. Bill, eh? Who's Bill? Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic. But with a collection like his, who wouldn't want to brag a little bit? I think people are just jills. Hashtag this guy's secretly Bill. Hi, do you want to trade your, rata your Rattata for my Rattata? I don't have a Rattata. No. That's too bad. And what if I did say yes? You don't have any Pokemon that your trading partner wants. Ah, oh, so that's just because, like, an Alolan variant or something? Interesting. But no, I do not have a Rattata.